So I have a question on uh, first law of thermodynamics and it is asked by a student Kshitiz Gupta from Prayagraj. He writes, Sir, in physics I was taught that work done by the gas is taken with positive sign while work done on the gas is taken with negative sign. In chemistry I was taught that work done by the gas is taken with negative sign and the work done on the gas is taken with positive signs. So why two kinds of conventions? Now in fact the work done is a very fundamental quantity and whether it is physics or chemistry or biology or whatever, work done by a force whether it is positive or negative in a given time interval is uh, definite. No question of any conventions now. The work is defined as the work done by a force on an object. Okay, so the work done by a force, say F, on an object. in a process or in a time interval is given my work is equal to F vector and then dot with uh, displacement vector and sum over all sections in that process. So that is the work done by the force on this particular object. Now if this is positive work done is positive, if this is negative, work done is negative and whether this is positive or negative that is governed by the rules of vector algebra. If the force is in the same direction as the displacement, force on the object by someone and then uh, displacement of the object, these things you should remember, then the work done W, this work done is let me write it work done. Work done is equal to this. So this is universal, no question about that, right? So if uh, you have a foot object and then on this object there is a force and you are asking for uh, and then uh, there is a displacement, it goes here, it goes like this, so this is the force this is the displacement, F dot ds will be positive. Right, so work by the force or the agency which is applying the force on this object is positive. And similarly, if uh, you are applying a force in this direction, but then the object is moving in this direction due to some other reason, this is the displacement and this is the force, then uh, it will be what will be negative. Now come to thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics, what it is. Here we are talking of a system. Here, here we are talking of a system in which, uh, for example, you have this uh, gas cylinder and then you have this piston, piston is movable. This is the general example which is taken in our uh, intermediate schools. And it is movable, no friction, etc. This is the gas, right? Now you can uh, compress this gas or you can expand this gas. Piston can move in this direction, piston can move in this direction. Now you decide which work you want work done by the gas on the piston or work done by the piston on the gas and whether it is expanding or it is being compressed and then you decide what is positive and what is negative according to these equations and these definitions. So for example suppose this gas is expanding, piston is pulled up so later so this piston is going in this direction. This piston is going in this direction and what you are interested in 
work done you decide on the gas or by the gas let us say work done on the gas by the piston that means that means by the force exerted by the piston now if this gas is exerting force on the piston in upward direction newton's third law piston will exert force on this in downward direction because of the pressure the gas is pushing the piston up and third law piston is pushing the gas down so now see what is the direction of force force in which direction is the force i am talking of force by the piston on the gas it is in downward direction right the piston is exerting force on the gas in downward direction and what is the displacement of what this force is exerted this force is exerted on the gas so gas displacement i have to see the gas this layer in which direction this is being displaced it is being dis displaced up so the work is negative all right but if you say that no 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 i am interested in work done by the gas work done by the gas fine no problem if you are calculating work done by the gas on 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 the piston now on the piston the force is by the gas now and the displacement of the piston is to be seen very fundamental definition of work work done when i say work done by the gas on the piston what do i mean work done by the force exerted by the gas on the piston and then this uh, force and displacement see the directions force in the same scenario force by the gas gas is pushing it up so force is up and then displacement of of the piston force by this force on the object displacement of the object is to be seen so here since we are saying work done on the piston displacement of piston is to be seen piston is going up so this also going up and therefore the work is positive and similarly you can uh, write if it is being compressed if it is being compressed in that case this piston and this gas layer they are going down and then depending on whether you are interested in work done by the gas or by the piston you will decide what is positive and negative so this is how work in this first law of thermodynamics is to be decided it's your choice no conventions no conventions this is your choice whether you want to say i am calculating work by the gas on the piston or by the piston on the gas that you decide now come to first law of thermodynamics so let's make some space on this okay so let us uh, talk of the first law of thermodynamics very simple very simple you have a system you have a system once again you can take the same system piston and gas so this gas is your system okay this gas is your system now what are the quantities the quantities is first is internal energy internal one is internal energy all these gas molecules are uh, moving with sudden speeds and have kinetic energies then there are interactions between the molecules of this gas so you also have that uh, potential energy or interaction energy because of this molecular interactions or whatever and uh, because of that the whole thing is now internal energy one second is heat heat given to the gas this is one so this is internal this we are going from outside heat we are giving 
heat we can take also but heat given to the gas or heat taken is uh, is one parameter which comes in this law and the third is work done similarly work done by the gas or on the gas these are the three things now if heat is given to the gas you are giving that heat energy to the gas then you are increasing the internal energy if you are doing work on the gas if you are doing work or someone this piston if someone is doing work then also the internal energy will increase so i can write it as increase in internal energy is equal to heat given by to the to the gas heat given to the gas and plus work done on the gas okay it's simple nothing to remember which is negative which is positive you can write in reverse also it's your choice it's up to your choice whatever you want to write it is this so when i say increase in internal energy this means i'm saying final internal energy and minus initial internal energy when i am saying heat given to the gas it's heat given to the gas if i am uh, taking out heat from it uh, you will write accordingly and similarly work done on the gas that's it apply it apply it okay so where is the different conventions the different conventions comes when you write symbols q u w the the science is exactly the same the event is exactly the same you do the work on the gas you are increasing energy if uh, you are not doing work on the gas gas or or the, the gas is doing work on you positive work on you then uh, the internal energy is decreasing you are giving heat to the gas then the heat is positive q is positive and and so on so you have three quantities now one is q one is say u first q and then w there is no problem up to here no problem up to here all right but if you write in terms of uh, this then you will say that delta u what is delta u q is heat given so you given heat so it's this and then uh, if i say that the i have done work on the on this i have done work on the gas then it will be this if the if w is simple w remember not the work done it's simple w simple w w is the work done on the gas if w you are writing for work done on the gas if you are doing work on the gas in that case we are increasing internal energy so delta u will be q plus w and if you say that no 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 our our w doesn't stand for this if you say that if you say that our w stands for work done by the gas work done by the gas if you say that this is the way 
if you say that I will write W for work done by the gas. So if W is work done by the gas, then the internal energy is decreased by W. If work is done on the gas, the internal energy is increased. If the work is done by the gas, then the internal energy is decreased. So if W is the work done by the gas, so this much energy has decreased, internal energy has decreased, then you will say that delta U is equal to Q and minus W. Right? So the phenomena is the same. Whether work done is positive or negative is not decided by your conventions or, or anything. It is decided by whether the force and displacement are in the same direction or in the opposite direction. But the only thing, only confusion arises because of definitions of these symbols. What is this U, what is this Q and what is this W? Q and W there is no confusion. Everyone uses the same symbol. Q is for heat given to the gas. U, delta U is increase in internal energy. So, no confusion. But someone says that work done, W will, I will write W for work done on the gas. And someone will say that I will write W for work done by the gas. So, if you are using this, then this becomes the equation. If you are using this, then this becomes the equation. So, it appears that in physics, generally the physics community is uh, more comfortable with this work done by the gas is taken as W. I am not saying that it is taken as positive or negative. Work done by the gas is positive or negative depends whether the gas is expanding or being compressed. If it is expanding, then work done by the gas will be positive. If it is expanding, then work done force is this way. This is the force by the gas. So work done by the gas means work done by the force exerted by the gas. And if it is going this way, it's positive. No one can deny it. This is for chemistry. All right. So if you keep this in mind, that it's only what we are calling W. What is the symbol W stand for? That's it. Then there will be absolutely no confusion. And you don't have to remember in chemistry this formula, in math, in physics that formula. You don't have to remember all these things. Only remember that if work is being done on the gas, the internal energy is increasing. If work is being done by the gas, internal energy is decreasing. If heat is given to the uh, system, the internal energy increases. If heat is, heat is taken out of the system, then internal energy is decreasing. That's, that's the relation between internal energy, work done and heat.